Welcome to Crafty Friday! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some clothespin jewelry. So here I just have beads on it. So you can do anything you want. It's on chain and it's going to be a necklace but I'm not completely done. But as you can see it looks um, pretty already. It's not that heavy. Um, you can make earrings with this. You can try and make bracelets on um, pretty much any jewelry you want. And basically it's sort of like recycling old clothespins that you might not use anymore um, because you might not use like um, a clothesline anymore. You could just use the clothespins that you have left over. And besides, they're really fun to make. So let's get right into the craft. So here's the things you're going to need. Some chain, any bead you want, but it has to have a pretty big hole in the middle. Jump rings, a clasp of your choice, wire cutters, and two pairs of pliers. And last but not least, clothespins. So first you're going to want to take some clothespins and take off the metal part in the middle. Like so, just turn it to the side and it should snap off pretty easy. Like that. And you can um, use as many of these as you want. Now you're going to want to take a bead of your choice, take a metal part of the clothespin, open it up a little bit, and then stick your bead on one of the metal parts. Sometimes it's kind of hard, but you'll get the hang of it after a while. And just connect them both so they're like that move your bead to the middle. Make as many of these as you want. Make sure your chain is thin. Now measure your chain around your neck and cut it to the length that you want. Before you add jump rings and a clasp, remember that we have to add our clothespin pendants first. Now we're just going to string your very thin chain through the hole of the clothespin and just add them any way you like. Then add your binding. Now open up a jump and attach it and close it to the end of your chain. Do the same on the other side, but attach a clasp of your choice. And don't forget to close it. So here's my two finished clothespin necklaces. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and subscribe. Did I just say subscribe? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. No, I said subscribe. Stay tuned for more Crafty Friday videos video response because I would really love to see how your necklaces turned out. Stay tuned for some Christmas tutorials coming up next week. See you guys later. Bye. Here's my two finished closed the necklaces. <laughs> I know, but I can't say the finished. 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 Okay, finished. 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 So here's my two finished Necklaces. <laughs> finished. Good, good, good. Wait, what do I say? Finished clothespin necklaces or what? Um, clothespin metal. Okay, wait. Okay. Let's, oh, let's redo that thing. then. Okay, let's redo that. Wait. I'm recording. <laughs> be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> Okay, be quiet. Here's the Pluto is a planet. Be quiet. Pluto. Pluto is a planet, okay? Yes, but it's not. It's just a bicycle planet. I don't know what you're talking about. Bad. I'm not bad. You're bad. I'm sorry if these buttons in the background are confusing you in any way. Just sort of.